Hi everyone, I'm Tech, and welcome back to a, another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over something a little different to the channel, but kind of not at the same time, I guess. But we're going to be going over Forza Horizon 5. My thoughts, and what I'm most looking forward to, as well as any questions that I have. So, starting off is something pretty simple. We are starting off with some of the new things that we're getting. For example, the car list is still in progress, but there are meant to be several drag races, with uh, the festival site being apparently the main one, as is the case of Forza Horizon 4. Now, there's a meant to be more than one fest uh, more than one festival area, hopefully, and apparently it seems to be uh, that there's an older racetrack that is going to be in this map, which is what the community have been asking for for a while. Because we have wanted, you know, we've wanted a racetrack, and that's now apparently, by the sounds of things, one of the things that we could be getting. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of different YouTubers and such, have all made videos already. I mean, some of them were done at the same day as uh, the three trailer was released, which I did go and watch, and it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, that's where I'm going to pick out a couple of things from here. For example, during the trailer, there was one, po uh, one portion... Actually, no, it was more during the uh, gameplay demo. There was a portion that was shown where Don, one of their crew, I assume, was driving a green Lamborghini Huracan. Now, they happened to go past a nice little McLaren, but as they went past, you could see that the uh, convertible roof was in the middle of, well, converting. And that has also been followed up by the Forza Horizon team uh, live stream, which was actually the next day, just after E3. And they actually gave proof that you can, in fact, have a proper working convertible roof in this next Horizon game. And you uh, only activate it by pressing down on the left stick. Which is actually kind of cool. Now, there's meant to also apparently be some sort of airstrip in this game. I just have, like, notes written down here all over the place. But there's meant to be an airstrip, hopefully, and uh, if there is, then let's hope it is a lot better than the one that we have in Horizon 4, as Horizon 4 is very much tiny, really. Weather changes, that's another thing that I'm going to talk about. The whole weather changes thing, well, it's going to be interesting because it's meant to be all localised. For example, one of the areas on the uh, map is a volcano, and we'll get more to that later on. You can see it towards the end of the uh, Forza Horizon 5 actual E3 trailer, which uh, hopefully I should be able to put a screenshot up on screen now of that. They're probably not going to be in the best quality as my computer doesn't really like running anything above 720, but uh, oh well. But with that, we're meant to have sort of, for example, I think an example they gave over on the official Forza team stream was it could be snowy at the top of the mountain, then when you get down to the beach further down, then it could be blazing hot down there. Now, the interesting thing about that is uh, also location. Well, everybody knows where it is by now, but it is in Mexico, which is going to be pretty interesting because, uh, well, Mexico has a very diverse everything, really. So diverse weather, countryside, roads, even their own little car culture, which is pretty cool. Now, Again, much like the weather, apparently the seasons are meant or are going to be somewhat local as well, which uh, kind of confuses me a bit as to how it's all going to work, but I will still be looking forward to it nonetheless. And there's meant to be a corner-to-corner uh, -corner highway, which is going to be interesting. If that happens, then it could be the longest highway in any Forza Horizon game. However, it would have to compete with the likes of the one from Forza Horizon 2. There's also now a whole heap of new organizations, which again has been confirmed by the team over at Forza Playground Games and whoever. And that is a hundred new rims, over a hundred new visual upgrades, around apparently a thousand new upgrades for everything else, paintable brake calipers, which is something the community has wanted for a very, very long time, and also new character customizations, such as how you look, and in this next game you can even go as detailed as to what colour you want your character's hair to be. Now, I don't think Forza have ever tried going that in-depth with character customization, although they did make a start on it in Forza Horizon 4, which you can also see is the background gameplay of this video, which is me attempting to try and make a Super 7 card. The share code for that will be in the description if you want to go and have a look and try it out for yourself. 
So, an additional little note to do with the weather are uh, desert sandstorms. You can clearly see one in the For the Horizon 5 trailer, which is actually a pretty cool. And by the looks of that, we are going to be able to go and drive all the way through them. As well as thunderstorms are going to be in the actual main map, not just a uh, little expansion DLC, which is something interesting that I've noticed because back in Forza Horizon 3 with the Blizzard Island, or Blizzard Island, Blizzard Mountain, the Snowy Mountain DLC, that was when snow entered the Horizon games for the first time, and then as we can clearly see in the background footage main map of Horizon 4, we have that as part of the winter season. Now, as uh, one of the other DLCs for Horizon 4, which is Fortune Island, has a new set of weather in it, for example, it has the Aura Borealis lights, which do look very, very cool, and you can get some amazing photographs. For example, uh, this one of one of my Nissan S13 Sylvias, one of, well, many, but that also has thunder and lightning, which also is seen in, guess what, the trailer for Forza Horizon 5, as part of the main map, which makes me think that, uh, well, it's going to be very, very fun indeed, and I cannot wait. Now, a couple of things that I want to put forward. I want to see one specific car added to the car list. It might seem a bit mundane here and there, but it has had a semi-decent racing heritage. But that is the uh, Vauxhall Amiga, or the Opel Amiga, or if you're out in the States, the Cadillac Caterra. It's not a too well-known car, I guess. But uh, that car has definitely held a spot for me, and I'd love to see it put into a Forza game. So if by some miracle that any of the Forza team actually end up watching this video, firstly, hello, thank you for watching this. Please add the Amiga. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it for like car requests. That's all I've after. been after that for a very long time now. And also something else that I would love to see are probably some revised car sounds, because as we all know, the ones in Horizon 4, well, they aren't exactly the best. For example, one of my friends quoted that the uh, new 2J sound sounds a bit like a diesel truck. So when you know it's uh, gotten that far, then you know they really need to work on it. But hopefully that has all been resolved and we've got a fresh set of car sounds for the next Forza Horizon game. So that leads me on to something while we're here, hopefully you're all enjoying this whole sort of thing, because uh, I've never had a chance really to, I guess, put videos together on upcoming games and stuff that I look forward to, especially stuff like this, where you're looking at games that have been released at E3, and uh, now I'm making a video on them. Now I am well aware that a lot of people are doing this whole same sort of thing, but uh, yeah, I can think of countless different YouTubers that have all done this, but uh, we will do that because it's a game that we're all looking forward to. And if you want to see some videos on Forza Horizon 5 when that eventually releases in November, because uh, as of right now, it is meant to release to the general public on November 9th, unless you have Game Pass Ultimate, which will give you the premium edition of the game, or you've pre-ordered the premium edition of Forza Horizon 5, which will also let you play the game uh, four days early on November 5th. Now, uh, I'm hoping to try and see if I can get that, so uh, if I can, then expect a few Horizon 5 videos, such as so, like my actual thoughts on the game. Now, if you want to see a video like this where I go and put my thoughts out for, say, Forza Horizon 4, Horizon 3, or any of the other Horizon series that I do own, then do go ahead and let me know on that as well. As if, and also, if you want to see a proper video of where I go in depth about trying to figure out a Super 7 card and making one fully, much like you can see in the background, then of course, do let me know on that as well. So, let's see, let's go back through my list that I've got in front of me. Are there any other things that I need to mention? Event map. That is meant to be a whole new style of game mode, which is again seen in the E3 gameplay demo. I will have a link to that particular video in the description. Now, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that goes, because uh, that is meant to be a whole new thing of, uh, well, it's gameplay, game modes, and everything being put together all in one specific spot, which is going to be very, very interesting. And the other thing are mini games. Much like we have Forzathon Live in Horizon 4, we could be getting a Forzathon Live like experience with mini games, which are going to be uh, kind of cool. 
But uh, I don't really know much about how that is all going to work, but hopefully it is all going to be very, very cool indeed. But I think that is probably where I'm going to leave it for this particular video, because, like I say, doing this whole sort of um, predictions and stuff for Horizon 5 and sort of speaking about a game like this and doing this style of video is wholly, uh, it's very, very new to me. So, uh, yeah. Hope you've all enjoyed, and uh, with that said, thank you very, very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, because uh, this is a new style of content that I'm trying, and I really hope you all will like it. So, if you do, that will make me very, very happy indeed. So, yeah, like I say, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to go ahead and leave a like, because it lets you know you like me doing this whole kind of stuff, and sort of uh, trying videos way outside of my comfort zone of what I'm usually doing. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. So if you're new here, feel free to go ahead and press the subscribe button and also set the notifications to all so you never miss an upload. I try and upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday, so uh, that's two videos a week for you all to enjoy. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. In fact, in that comment, leave what you think your predictions are going to be for the car list or just anything that you think will be in Forza Horizon 5. So with that said, thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video, which might be another Horizon 5 and what I'm looking forward to, or it could be another Horizon 4 video, or it could be something completely different. So yeah, stick around for that, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and a goodbye.